They say the average millionaire has seven streams of income, but your girl Queenie has 15 streams of income. That's right, I've got it all figured out. I'm just kidding, I'm not a millionaire yet and I definitely don't have it all figured out. However, over the past couple of years, I have tried and tested a bunch of different side hustles and different types of income streams. And I wanted to give you my honest opinion on all of them and the pros and cons of starting these different side hustles and income streams. And each of these different income streams really do add up because over the past couple of years, I've been able to bring in an extra $20,000 to $30,000 per year on top of my full-time salary. So what are the 15 different income streams? Let's dive right in. Oh, and if you have noticed my eyes looking a little bit red, it's because Pablo said that we need to throw out our coffee machine and it just made me really upset. I'm just kidding, I'm never throwing that coffee machine away. Last night I got a bit of cream in my eye and it's just made my eyes really sensitive for some reason, but you know what? The show must go on, the daily videos just need to keep on happening, so still doing this video. Make sure you tap the like button for the effort. And yes, I am channeling some preppy vibes today. I hope it looks like I belong on a golf course because that's definitely the vibe I was going for today. Let me know your thoughts on my outfit down in the comments below. So the first income stream is a nine to five job. I've had a full-time job ever since the age of 20 when I dropped out of my degree. And I've been pretty lucky because ever since I've been able to get jobs in marketing, even though I don't have a degree. And all of the full-time jobs that I have had in marketing have been pretty good. Like they haven't been very stressful and I literally do work from nine to five, Monday to Friday. So the good thing about this is I still have weekends and evenings in order to do some side hustles and make some extra income streams on the side. Whereas I do have friends who work at kind of like prestigious places, which make them work a lot longer hours. For example, some of my friends have to stay back until 11 p.m. at night and even work on weekends as well. So I've been pretty lucky that my full-time jobs have enabled me to have different side hustles and different income streams because I've had more time to work on them. I think that having a nine to five job is great because it's a steady and consistent income stream. However, when you do have a nine to five job, you're essentially trading your time for money and it gets to a certain point in your income, in my opinion, where it can be really difficult to ask for a higher salary unless you work in sales and you're able to get commissions. The second income stream is digital marketing freelance work. Over the past few years, I've had a few digital marketing clients on the side and I used to do a range of digital marketing things for them, including SEO, Facebook and Instagram ads and Google ads and some website design. Digital marketing freelancing work has been a really great consistent source of income for me. However, I have stopped working with my digital marketing clients in order to focus more time and energy on this YouTube channel. However, if you are looking to get some digital marketing freelancing clients or any type of freelancing clients, I think it's a really great income stream. You can make quite a bit of money with it and I think there's definitely no shortage of jobs available for this kind of work. The only downside I see with freelance digital marketing is you are essentially still trading your time for money. And honestly, sometimes I used to work with some really difficult clients that just weren't really worth the money for the amount of pressure and stress that they did put on me. So the next income stream is building websites for people. I used to build quite a few websites for people and I would typically charge about $2,000 per website build. This, in my opinion, has been a really great way to make money because instead of being paid for my time, I actually get paid as a project. So regardless of how long the website took to build, it would still cost $2,000. Similar to how I learned digital marketing, I learned how to build websites completely off doing online courses. There are so many people looking for these kinds of skills and the best places to learn, in my opinion, are those online course providers. So you can have a look at Udemy, Coursera, and Teachable. So the next income stream is drop shipping. Drop shipping is a great business model. How it works is you essentially create this website and then whenever somebody purchases something from your website, the website immediately purchases something on AliExpress and then ships it off to your customer. This is a really low cost way of dipping your toes into the e-commerce game if you're not quite sure if you wanna go full in and create your own brand and e-commerce business. In my opinion, drop shipping sounds really attractive and really, really easy to make money. Like when I first heard about it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is literally a license to print money. Why has nobody told me about this earlier? But when I actually created my own drop shipping store, I noticed that it's a lot more difficult than people make it out to seem. And it might not be as profitable as you would hope it would be. In saying that, I only had the Kitchen Gadgets website up for about two months. In that time, I think I lost a little bit of money or maybe I just exactly broke even on my investment. So, 
I don't really think that it was worth the time that I spent doing it. I think with dropshipping, it's just like any business. Some businesses work really well. Some businesses just don't really work very well. And in my experience, this dropshipping business did not work out very well for me, sadly. <laughs> So the next income stream is an e-commerce business that I started called Flores, which is a false eyelashes business. So I sell strip false eyelashes online that you basically stick onto your eyelids and it makes you look really glam. This business used to generate quite a bit of income, especially since I did price my lashes below a lot of competitors in the market. I think that it made it a lot more attractive for my customers to purchase from me. And I also did quite a bit of work on my website in order to start ranking organically for some of those SEO terms. So I can happily say, even though this business didn't make a crazy amount of money, I definitely did break even on my investment and I also did make a bit of money from it. And it actually still makes me money today. I still have pretty much like passive income orders come through. All I really need to do is pack off my orders and send them off to my customers. But I think one of the reasons why this business didn't work as well is kind of because, well, I'm not super, super passionate about makeup and it just didn't really align with my values as much as this YouTube channel. Whereas with this YouTube channel, even when I wasn't making any money at all, I was still happy to spend hours and hours and hours and lots of time making content for this YouTube channel because honestly, it's a bit like a hobby for me. Whereas for the false eyelashes business, it definitely did feel like work. So that's my piece of advice for you guys listening. I think it's so important to start a side hustle that you're actually really passionate about. So the next income stream was my blog, Voila Travels. This was a bit of a hobby blog when I thought that I would be a travel blogger. Spoiler alert, that never really happened. And honestly, my photos weren't that great, but I had a lot of fun writing down little itineraries of the places that we went to and building this website. And the cool thing about this is it actually still makes money from AdSense. Some of my articles are actually ranking in the SEO terms for different travel itineraries. So it's pretty cool to be able to still make some passive income from that blog. And another thing that I noticed as well is I did have an affiliate link to Airbnb on my travel blog and I had quite a few people sign up to Airbnb using my affiliate link. So I did get quite a bit of free travel credit from Airbnb by doing that. So the next income stream is the Invest With Queenie YouTube channel, specifically AdSense. You can make some pretty decent income from YouTube AdSense. For example, in the past 28 days, I've made $1,300 just from the YouTube AdSense, which is pretty cool, but it does take quite a lot of work to set up a YouTube channel. I mean, seriously, guys, I've produced hundreds of videos. Some videos absolutely flopped and yeah, didn't really work at well, but some videos did really, really well. And I think in order to make consistent income with YouTube, you really have to be consistent. And sometimes it's not really easy producing videos all the time when you don't really feel like it, but you just gotta keep feeding that YouTube algorithm and trust the process and eventually you will start to make some pretty decent income from it. So just hang in there. So the next income stream is affiliates. So you may have noticed in some of my videos, I may plug an affiliate if it is relevant to what I'm talking about. And I get a bit of a kickback from that provider if somebody signs up with that link. It's nice to be able to get a bit of a kickback for products that you would already talk about anyway for free. And the next income stream has been sponsored on this YouTube channel and Instagram and TikTok. I don't mean to brag, but I get quite a lot of people emailing me asking if they can do some sponsored content on my channels. And I say no to 99.9% .9 of them because a lot of them just don't really align with what I really wanna do on this YouTube channel. And I don't really think that they would give you any value either. So the brands that I do work with are very carefully selected. And from the brands that I have worked with, it has all gone pretty well so far. Touch wood. Similar to affiliates, I think it's a really great way to make money talking about brands and products that you would already talk about for free anyway. And that's the way that I like to see it. If I haven't already spoken about this brand for free, and if I wouldn't talk about this brand for free, I'm definitely not going to do a sponsored video with them. It just doesn't really align with my values. And I only really work with brands and sponsors that I actually use. So that brings me to the next income stream, which is digital products. As you'll notice earlier this year, I did create a stock research checklist, which is available for $19. This is the first digital product that I've created. And I think it's a really great income stream because you essentially 
create the checklist once and get it all designed. And then from there, you can essentially make passive income from that asset. So the next income stream is credit card rewards. I used to use a lot of frequent flyer credit cards so that I could collect Qantas frequent flyer points and then later redeem it for travel. But recently I've changed my credit card to an American Express cashback credit card. And I do have an affiliate link down in my description below if you would like to check it out. I do have a few rules with credit cards and that is that I always make sure that I pay off my credit cards in full and on time so I don't pay any interest and then I can literally use the rewards and get free rewards and cash back for money that I'm going to spend anyway but I definitely don't recommend credit cards if you can be tempted to buy stuff that you don't really need or overspend on your credit card so the next income stream is dividends honestly I don't have a lot of dividend paying stocks in my portfolio because to be honest, a lot of those big blue chip companies didn't really excite me, especially the ones that pay a dividend. So I am definitely a little bit more of a capital growth investor and I prefer to invest in growth companies rather than blue chip dividend stocks. However, I did receive $333 in dividends from the past year, which is pretty cool. And if big blue chip companies are your vibe, I think that dividends can be a really great way to earn some passive income. So the next passive income stream is bank interest. This one isn't particularly exciting, but it's one of those ones that's just a bit of a set and forget. Once you do sign up to a bank that has a pretty good interest rate, you can essentially just like make money for money that you just have sitting in your bank account. I don't have a lot of my money in cash. However, I do have my emergency fund with Westpac, which has a 3% interest rate for 18 to 29 year olds. And I also have an 86400 bank account, which has a 1.2% interest rate. So if you would like to check out 86400, I have an affiliate link down in my description below. So the next income stream is renting out some of my board games and outdoor party games. This has honestly been a pretty decent income stream. I mean, I haven't made crazy amounts of money with it, but definitely for the amount of money that I spent on these board games and outdoor games, I've definitely made a good return on investment from it. I think this year I would have made a few hundred dollars just in passive income from renting out these board games. And the final income stream is renting out my parking spot, which I currently don't do at the moment, but I used to do, and it used to earn me an extra $50 per week. So I think if there are any things that you don't actually need, like a parking spot or an extra bedroom that you don't need, you might as well see if you can rent that out online. So those are 15 income streams that I started by the age of 24. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And thank you so, so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really, really appreciate you. And your secret code word is light. So write me a comment below with the word light in it, just so that I know that you watch this video all the way through and so that I can thank you personally. I really, really appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. And if you want more content, don't worry, I got you. Here are some more videos that you can watch.